Good morning, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, I've just been called out to a customer's house. They've had, just had this uh, wood, burn in, uh, wood burner insta installed in their shed. Uh, but it's a great shed. It's got like a, a bedroom, uh, a room in there. It was an office, bathroom with a shower in there and everything. It's fantastic. Um, but the, the, the problem they've got is they've, they've had this installed um and um, they're, they're having a few problems with it so what i'm doing i'm doing this video so that we can go through together and work out what the problem is together because um, i've literally this is what i do for a living um i go around see uh, customers they ring me up they go oh, this that and the other what can we do to sort it out and everything so like first things first is i just have a look at the appliance and everything and uh, oh, oh, clearly it's an old stove and the guy's got a second hand stove to go in there you know, as you can tell straight away by just looking at the gasket uh, around the door that's not brand new and obviously the colour of it compared to the, the rest of it I mean the, the connectors and everything look all fine um, but they, they've not been sealed in properly uh, so they, they, that, they, they would need to be sealed in um, sometimes they don't need to be we will we'll double check that and have a look at that um, looking at the actual wood burner itself um, these are these are really nice wood burners they're great uh, the handles a little bit loose so which is easy enough because that can be screwed in look I can even do it with my hand so that, that wouldn't be an issue to get that sorted out because you you really want to have these as tight as you could, possibly could on that the ropes looking a bit ropey no pun intended but if you look how thin that is that uh, I, I normally don't go uh, as you probably might have seen on my on my, my some of my videos um i normally like say oh yeah it's got another year to go but i don't think on this one it has so that would need replacing and as i said a lot of these have these like i know there is these uh, uh, appliances that they call them clear view systems um uh, about um, they, they also call this a clear view system which is, and you can always tell as I always point out it's got this little uh, bit of metal that goes across here some of them are straight some of them are at an angle but it's warm air across there which is fantastic so these, 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 these are great to sweep when you come when we get there because they've got these little, little sort of like plates as you can see with this one and you literally just lift it up up here i'm not going to do it now because i've only got these kind of gloves on today so but it literally lifts off and then it drops off that metal bit there which is like a basically like a fire brick but it's made of metal um it's got these fire bricks at the side so you can put them on the side also like um these are like um allow the air to circulate inside them as you can see when i was doing that it moves that around so it needs a, which basically what you do is, um, they, 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 they are like an old fashioned version of a multi-fuel where you could burn coal in them if you want to. It's got an air vents up here as well. It's stiff because it's a bit rusty, just from age. Just needs a good, good refurbish. All the parts are in. If you, if you ever do buy a second hand appliance, the best thing to do is make sure you've got all the bits in it. Make sure that it doesn't matter if they're a bit stiff because WD-40, as I said, don't matter if it's a bit loose. You know, make sure everything's all on it because, like, try and even get, like, brackets. I mean, the, these sort of things aren't too bad to get in, but try and get a handle. Might be a nightmare. This bit that goes round might be a nightmare. So it, it, it is, it is, it is um, worth... right yeah back to the stove the customer's just come in and he's um like you should always do when you've got the chimney sweep around always give him a cup of tea um you can't go wrong with that it's um it, but i'll tell you what it makes a big difference um you know nice the, the chimney sweep a uh, nice cup of tea and um look at the color on that look, look at that color perfect absolutely perfect color he knows how to make tea some people don't but um but some people make them spot on that's how i make them 
you, you want that, that that little orange glow in there look at that so anyway back to the job in hand so yeah he's, he's, he's letting me just get on with it because basically what I like to do is I like, I like to be able to do these videos I don't normally post them up but I'm going to start posting up a few more because obviously this time of year it gets a bit quiet and it's very difficult to, to I don't want to be posting the same stuff over and over again on my channel um, because it, you know like um, there's, there's only so much you can post when it comes to things like this so uh, unless something some that you haven't posted before comes up you think great this would be a great video but um, after a while you know like I've been doing it in like 24 years now there's only so much information that you want to give to customers that that, 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 that is, uh, is, is interesting to them so that they know what's going on and they can they can see it and they can work it out and everything it's a great idea you know a lot of people can't afford to at the moment you know like move because obviously interest rates are very high we know what uh, we, we we know what's going on at the moment i'm not going to get political but we know that the house price is outrageous so I'm, I'm a granddad and uh and i feel very sorry for for my children and my grandchildren what future have they got at the moment eh you know it's about time we we need to stand up to these people uh, you know the wealth i mean i live in, in in sussex and the wealth in sussex is just it's just it's on another level but i'm not here to talk about this and then the poverty we have food banks in every town and village in sussex every single town and village in sussex and when i was growing up i grew up in london but when we moved up here that was unheard of you know it was all about helping each other but anyway enough of that so yeah basically um so like what, what we've got to do is uh, the customer's not happy with the installation um he, he's, he's bought all the bits and everything um one thing i will say is like um, i always think like um when you when you do install these um it's always a good idea just to like if, you, if you're if you're a bit unsure you can get the measurements but it, if it, it it's always a i always like them if you see here i always like them just to be they'll um i can't see my hand then but i always like these bits that they, and when i'm talking about these bits i always like the old um the slab to be a bit further out um and the reason being is that like if anything rolls off it's always it's always a good way of measuring out how far to come out so always like it might be an idea like maybe like to have a if you see if it, if it's like a, a nice little finish here with a nice brick and look at look at that look how flush that is it goes straight down there so i'm going to be suggesting to the customer maybe a nice nice row of um maybe drive bricks you know going across there or he might even want a piece which i don't think would look too nice one piece of this cut going right the way across but i think maybe three of probably four bricks going across the front there would look really nice so yeah so basically um apart from the appliance you know a couple of um new, new ropes sorted out uh this needs re-screwing up so it'd be tighter that tightening up everything seems to be all in order in this uh, as i was saying this is a bit stiff but this can be all sorted out no problem so as i said if you if you ever if you ever do decide to go down this road make sure that you make when you purchase these because you can get them on all sorts of places now that they've got all the bits in them that's the most important thing make sure they get all the bits in them so now we've got we've got to look at like up here so like the, it's got all, it's it's the right pieces because if you think about it you never want this this um, collar to be going over the other side of this collar because if there's any dripping that's going to be dripping down you don't want it dripping actually onto the wood burner you, you'd want it to drip down into the actual stove itself so like I uh, remember there's a baffle plate underneath which you can lift off and then you can stick a brush up there and clean it all up and this bit here is like a it's like a it's like a clip that clips this this bit onto this piece here and when you when you when you like um, as you can see on this it hasn't been uh, cemented or siliconed on um, 
I don't think that's anything of any relevance. I mean, that'll probably maybe old cement there, but when you do that, you can see that it's just coming off, so which is great. So it probably just needs a good spray, to be honest with you. Well, that's probably what I would suggest to the customer as well. Nice spray, get it all like nice and black, like the actual pipe. But when you when you seal these, remember if you've seen any of my videos, don't over spill them. Just push it right in there, push it right in there, so that it's flat all the way around. Don't put too much in there because remember the pipes expand, and remember this isn't a twin wall one like this one. And the reason what and you know what twin wall flue pipes are made of. Twin wall flue pipes are made of like two uh, skims of pipe and in the middle they have fiberglass in them and that's why you can touch them that's why you don't get any heat coming off them but this piece here is like this collar here it's a single skin and what will happen is it will expand and if you put too much cement on here what will happen is it will push it out and you'll be constantly doing it every year and um, it's just it will drive you nuts so anyway we look up we're going to go have a look at this now and and realistically if you're ever going to do these i would never do them this way but obviously the customers bought all this and they're very expensive me personally i would have done a single wall flue pipe all the way up round here up to here to about half a meter away from the wood and then they made that all, all, all fireproofed around there. And the reason being is that, as I said to you before, if you touch this, this, it, it will be cold. And the reason why it'd be cold is because it's a twin flue pipe. And normally these are ideal for outside because they keep the heat in. But when you, you, you don't want to be keeping the heat in when you're inside. You want to keep the heat out when you're in the inside. Keep remember this, keep the heat in on the outside, keep the heat out on the inside. If you remember that, that's all you've got to remember is like so realistically the customer should have had a, a pipe going up, single single pipe going all the way up, bends round up to the to, to about there where my finger is, and um and then basically a twin wall pipe going up into the actual wood. You have to remember, obviously, this is a wooden building, so there's a lot of regulations that uh, that you've got to refer to when you are actually fitting one of these. Make sure that you get a professional heaters registered fitter to come and do this. Or if you don't have a heaters registered fitter, Make sure that you have someone who's been trained by Heatess or, uh, or other companies and that uh, remember your local council building um, department will come out and inspect the work that you've done and they will basically, they will pass it off for you if it's down to the regulations. And remember that there is other companies out there also that will pass the work off. If you look up, it's got a bit of a bend on there, and you'll see why. And it's also leaking. Yeah, but uh, let me see if I can zoom in, and you can just see that. Let me see. Uh, you can't really see. You can just see there. It's leaking. So obviously, it's not sealed. But it's not been sealed properly up in the chimney. So, um, so can you see that water? There should be no water coming down there. It's all the way down there. It's 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 it's, it's, it's um, quite interesting that. So like um, we're going to go outside now, and we're going to check that. So like hopefully this is really helping you today. But if you want to do all this sort of stuff, remember you can do. Remember like these sheds are really cool. I'm not going to show you too much, but like you like they've got like a uh, somewhere like a storage area. You've got like windows. You've got like in there. You've got a, a, a bathroom. A shower room and everything, uh, but a back door which is just there, and then you've got windows just here, and then you've got a door here that just shuts. 
uh, and they're great absolutely fantastic so right now we're just gonna go and have a look out look got my mate helping me and um, look, he's like I'm not too sure if he's guarding my tea or he's gonna finish it off for me I think he's gonna have a I'll let, I'll let, I'll let him have it in a minute you can have it mm. you can finish that off that's my assistant so like yeah basically um, as you can see um, the finish isn't very good it's not not the sort of finish that I would have done with the actual chimney so like um, uh, I've got a few ideas on that uh, as you can I'm zoom zoom in I'm gonna zoom out actually because it looks better as you can see that like uh, the, the roof's all lovely and it's been tarred very very nice and uh, as you can see look it's all great uh, and then basically it, honestly he's fine I don't mind I've finished now he's worked hard so I don't mind so basically what what, what um, whoever's fitted this is um, he's done it looks like he's done everything all the wrong way around and um, what, he, what I would have done is I would have stuck the pipe higher above the ridge of the roof because you, that's what you want to do you don't want it below because obviously when it's windy then the wind's going to be blowing and it's going to like um, going to start making it difficult for it to draw but I'm not too sure if it will do or not because obviously as I said like uh, this is the outside part of the appliance and re remember I was saying it's like um, you uh, inside you want the heat to come out and on the outside you want the heat to, to stay in so like uh, and then I think that by the time it gets to this part here it, it's going to be fine so um, there's going to be, be no issues there at all so um, but the, the, the customer has got another piece so what we're thinking of doing is uh, is obviously we're going to get probably going to get a new piece on the, the uh, we're going to take all, all that off because that looks that looks a horrible finish uh, as I said I'm not going to mention any names I'm not going to share the property so I don't want to embarrass anybody we, we all have reasons for doing the things that we do, but what I'd like to do is finish it off with the tiles coming up pretty close up there. So anyway, that, that's the plan of action, and um, I think, um, and that'll be it. But as I said, I'm going to start doing videos like this. Uh, like yesterday, we got uh, we had people playing pool, and then today, uh, little children running around in the garden, which is great. So like, um, like even the birds over there are watching and seeing what's going on. So yeah, I've got all the information that I need now. So I'm going to go back, uh, discuss uh, uh, what the, the next stage forward with, uh, with my partner and um, basically and go from there. So I hope you have a great day and hopefully this has been informative for you and um, have a lovely day from Zachary Sweets.